Let's write a C program to find all the odd numbers between user entered range. Odd numbers are of the form 2 into number plus 1. So substitute any number in this place and you will get after evaluation of this expression you will get an odd number. So let's try that in our C program. I'll take a couple of integer variables start, end, temp and count. So I'll ask the user to enter start and end value so that we can calculate all the odd numbers between that user entered range. So let's save this user entered integer numbers inside the address of variables start and end. Also let's check if uh, if the value present inside start is greater than the value present inside the va variable end. In that case we swap the values of variables start and end using the temporary variable. So we transfer the value of start to temp, value of end to start and the value of temp to end. After execution of this if condition start will always have a value which is less than that of the variable end. So odd numbers between percentage %d and percentage %d are So let's write the for loop. So for loop counter count is initialized to start value. This for loop executes until count is less than or equal to user entered value that is present inside end. For each iteration of this for loop count value increments by 1. So if count modulo division 2 is not equal to 0 that means it's an odd number and we display that onto the console window. So percentage %d slash n so the value is present inside variable count. So that's it. Let me execute after compiling this uh, program. I'll give 10 and 20. So all the odd numbers between uh, range 10 and 20 are 1, 11, 13, 15, 17, 19. So I'll give 50 and 40 now. So it will display all the odd numbers between 40 and 50. So please visit the link present in the description section of this YouTube video for source code, notes and discussion about this topic. Please stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and blog. Share this video with your friends online and please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.